Well, good morning, everybody. It's July the 1st, and uh, I should be out fishing, but uh, I tell you, that heat from Texas has moved over here into the Florida Panhandle, and it's just really tough out here. It's uh, 9 o'clock, and it's already 88 degrees, and so we'll try it. Uh, this is 4th of July weekend, and I'm off until Tuesday, so we'll, we'll go fishing sometime. Uh, but today's supposed to be especially hot getting up in the mid 90s. So uh, what I decided to do instead uh, this Saturday morning is to uh, show y'all a new toy that I got. I've been uh, watching a lot of videos uh, by a, a guy's channel. Uh, it's called The Water Swatters. And uh, his name is Josh, and, and uh, he does a lot of uh, videos on mini crossbows and bow fishing with mini crossbows and even uh, deer hunting with uh, mini crossbows. And there's two out right now that are, uh, and they're essentially the same crossbow, just under different uh, brandings, according to, uh, according to Josh. That is the striker. Uh, that you can get from William Tell or the Ballista. Um, and that's what, I, that's what I've ordered. So I want to show, uh, unbox this thing and show y'all what I got. And uh, we'll uh, eventually uh, put up a video about sighting it in and then we'll uh, put up a video. Uh, uh, I'm going to go down to the feed store today to get some uh, some dog feed or some uh, maybe some uh, range cubes and uh, go out on my dock and uh, see if I can't get some mullet to, to come in. Uh, I got some extra things too that they were out of on the ballista site and uh, some little bow fishing arrows and I'll show those to you in a minute uh, that uh, I got from William Tell. Anyway, so what all did I get? Well, they offer a uh, fishing, bow fishing reel. I'm not going to pull that out right now. Um, we need to get to the bow so y'all can see it. Uh, some arrows, uh, hunting arrows that can uh, use broadheads, uh, red dot sight, and we'll break all this stuff out here in a minute. Uh, I got some brass inserts uh, to make the hunting arrows uh, a little bit heavier if I want to. Uh, an extra string and, and cable. Uh, this is a uh, handle, a light reel, uh, lightweight uh, forearm extension for this, for this crossbow, and uh, we'll show you that in a minute. And... Uh, I guess a, um, a rig that you can uh, use to change the, the strings and uh, the cables. So let's get this, let's get this uh, crossbow out of this box, tight fitting box. Uh, the shipping was really fast on this too, so I mean I ordered it and I had it within two days, so uh, they do a good job with that. So this is the uh, Ballista Bat Reverse. Uh, they claim that it will shoot over 400 feet per second, but that's with a really uh, light arrow. If you're going to go with the hunting arrows with a broad head on it, a uh, 100 grain, broad head on it uh, you're realistically uh, from what I've seen on uh, Josh's channel the the water swatters uh, you're going to get about 200 uh, a little over 200 feet per second so uh, he's killed several deer with uh, with uh, the striker bow which is as Josh says is uh, identical to uh, to this ballista bow, just a different uh, branding. So, opening it up, looks like it's, you know, packed really well. Comes with uh, a user manual, and I'll have to go through that. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be some assembly. Uh, comes with a warning that says, 
do not dry fire. And so uh, that's a good idea on any crossbow. Don't don't dry fire. Uh, shooting it without an arrow is what dry firing is. Uh, it comes with a variety of stickers so that uh, you can advertise their product for them. Um, comes with some practice arrows, practice bolts. And so we'll probably start out with that when we start sighting this thing in. Okay, so down to the bow. Um, okay. You can see this thing is, is really small. As y'all know, uh, I mean, I hunt with a crossbow. I've got both a Raven R26 and a Hickory Creek Mini. So, uh, I enjoy hunting with crossbows and, uh, I like to saddle hunt too. So, uh, if this thing, if I feel like it's, uh, got enough juice in it and, uh, uh, can, you know, take down a deer within, uh, 20, 25 yards, then, uh, I'm probably going to try it out this fall, but anyway, um, Josh at the Water Swatters, he's uh, he's killed several deer with his. So I assume this is the uh, four, yeah, the forearm grip that comes with it. So I'm going to have to assemble all this stuff. Maybe I'll get off camera here and assemble it, and then bring it back, and uh, I'll let y'all look at it. Uh, the uh, trigger guard so forth fits right in so let me get off of here and i'll put this thing uh together and then we'll uh we'll take another take another look at it okay so let me uh finish up this video uh i got it put together this is the uh collaps collapsible stock that comes with it I got the four handle put on. This is what will hold the fishing reel. Got the red dot put on. It's got uh, three different uh, reticles and um, and it's either red or green, your choice. Came with a battery. Uh, the stock folds out. Uh, you have to press a button here to rotate it around. And then press a button here to extend this part. And then you've got something that you've got a little bit more stability. When you're taking a shot. So you can use it either way. Uh, you can collapse the stock back down and uh, not use uh, uh, not use it. You can still shoot it with this still installed on here. But anyway, um, got to get used to this. I'll have it all figured out. Oh well. There we go. All right. So light, you know, I'm sure with uh, maybe the little stock on here and the red dot, now it probably weighs about three and a half pounds. But uh, um, boy, if this works out for saddle hunting, I know it's going to work out for bow fishing. Uh, if this works out for saddle hunting, this will be really nice uh, up in a tree saddle. So, uh, of course, you know, if I decide to hunt with it, it'll be shots uh, no further than 25 yards with this thing. And uh, anyway, uh, I'll put together a video later on uh, shooting the thing. I almost forgot to show you it, it came with the, uh, with the hunting arrows. Um, which they call their Ballista Sting arrows. Uh, it's got aluminum insert in it right now. I bought some brass ones, maybe uh, if I need to make it uh, a little bit heavier. 
Um, they, at the time, they did not have um, a bow fishing kit. It's on their website, but uh, it's uh, it was out of stock whenever I ordered the bow. So I ordered one from Bass Pro. It's a uh, muzzy anchor reel seat, and it looks exactly like the one that Ballista had on their site, so that should work out fine. Uh, and, of course, uh, y'all all know what a fishing reel looks like, so I got the uh, bow fishing reel. It's supposed to come with a uh, bow fishing line on it. Uh, the brass inserts and lastly what I want to show you what I got from uh, William Tell was some of these fishing arrows solid steel and uh, I think uh, Josh at Waters Waters had something to do with uh, uh, getting these um, getting these manufactured uh, working with uh, William Tell so anyway I'll leave a link to Josh's uh, YouTube so you can go look at his. But uh, uh, I'm excited to have this, uh, you know, start doing some bow fishing right away and maybe uh, maybe deer hunt with this. Um, uh, like I said, I've still got the, the Hickory Creek Mini, which I like a lot. That's a great, that vertical crossbow is a, is a great crossbow. And uh, Raven R26. I mean, if you want to shoot, uh, you know, long distance on a, Greenfield or something, but uh, any more, uh, I'm more about you know hunting and shooting, shooting within 20 yards in the woods. So anyway, I hope this helped y'all out some, and uh, I'm looking, uh, I'm real excited about shooting this thing and uh, getting it sighted in and uh, start shooting some fish with it out on my dock. And uh, so y'all have a good one. I appreciate y'all watching and hooty hoo.